Listen, we talk a lot about Andrew Yang on this show. We, we don't have favorites. He just happens to be very dynamic on social media. Aggressive, witty, unpredictable, and dare I say, kind of fun. Today, something creative and grassrootsy in a country of millions and a world of billions. A 10-hour online Q&A. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Quora, you name it. What have been the most rewarding and most challenging parts for you and Evelyn in parenting and with the campaign? Evelyn just said something to me, literally I think it was yesterday, where she said 80% um, of parents with special needs children split up. No. I know. It was Is so that real? Did you look that up? Uh, well, she said it was 50% for like, you know, parents generally, I think. Um, but it was like 80% it. for parents with special needs kids. And But still, that, that's a jarring stat, right? You hear that and you're just like, whoa. I kind of feel like this is television history because as he wraps up our number 10, Andrew Yang joins us through Google Hangout. And I'm, I'm actually kind of psyched because I, I got to skip the line. How long's the queue right now, Zach? I don't know if Zach can hear us. Hey. We yeah, there, there's a long queue, but skipping it for our friends in NBC Boston. That's Love right. you guys. Thank you very much. Now, listen, first of all, how are you holding up? Um, I'm doing great. I've got so many refreshments right here. I've got this. I've got that. Um, there's like a, there are like six people there with like water bottles. Like I'm on a bike marathon. No, there aren't those people. But uh, but I'm fine. I mean, shoot, it's only ten hours. Like you know, this is like I'm sure a very normal work day for you over at NBC Boston. Yeah, well, we've been putting in some longer ones for this campaign because of people like you. Um, just take <laughs> us through uh, the the thought process on, on why do it and why do it this way. Well, we we were talking about the debate format and how and the, the questions why this format. Um, so in the debate, you have these 60 or 70 second sound bites. You might wait half an hour before you speak again. You might speak eight uh, minutes and three hours. And so we said, well, how can we convey our vision to the American people and also answer more questions? And we said, well, why don't we just stake out a whole day and answer as many questions as we can? Uh, and given that it is 2019, there are many, many platforms and ways to reach voters. So we thought we'd use them all. Um, and it's been phenomenal. Uh, I like to think that uh, voters have actually gotten their questions answered more thoroughly in this context than by turning on a debate, because the fact is in the debate stage, we end up uh, with competing sound bites, and that right. may or may not be the best way to communicate to voters. You know, I, I, I'm going to try to catch up with you when you're in New Hampshire next week, so I, I'll, I'm going to talk a lot about policy and such then, but I, I want to just focus on this a little bit, because in the people you've talked to, is it mainly Yang gangers, or, you know, in New Hampshire, there's 90% undecided. I mean, are you getting people who are sampling you as well, or is it just people who just really want to get a slice of contact with you? Oh, well, I was told uh, just now by someone on my team that over 400,000 people uh, have seen some aspect of this 10-hour marathon, uh, ask me anything. And so I dare say that a lot of those people are probably not uh, hardcore Andrew Yang supporters or probably curious or just saw me at the debate and decided to tune in. Um, so it's been a mixture, and this is a great way for us to expand our reach. Uh, certainly, I think people in the Yang Gang are excited, but a lot of people who are just starting to find out about me are also excited. Yeah, listen, uh, I, I'm like on the F list. Uh, David Arquette, I think he's cool, but he's probably a D lister. Like, did you get above the D list and are you gonna wrestle with Arquette or what? Wow, he's hating on David Arquette. Uh, no, I know, <laughs> David Arquette's the man, but- um, No, so, I'm not saying he's not the um, man. There's a lot of good names <laughs> on the D list. Um, so Rivers Cuomo of Weezer uh, is doing nice. a concert for us in, in Iowa. We have some other uh, celebrity endorsements on the way, Nick Cage, is a donor uh, and supporter. Elon Musk supported me um, and uh, supports me now. And Elon Musk, I'm sure, is an A-lister by any measure. He's like the yeah. real life Iron Man. So he's like, he, he must, it's like an A-plus lister. So what did, what did David Arquette, like, did you actually answer his question? Uh, yeah, so he was asking, uh, so David Arquette was interested in how we can make capitalism work for more people. He was calling from a uh, uh, women's shelter in LA and talking about people who are falling through the cracks. Uh, and so it was actually a very profound, question how we can make our economy work better for us. And my response is that this is really what this campaign is all about, is that instead of measuring our economy in terms of GDP and corporate profits, we should be measuring it in our own health and our mental health and how our children are doing, uh, the quality of our environment. And there's nothing stopping us from adopting these 21st century measurements 
Uh, we made up GDP almost 100 years ago, and it's time for an upgrade. Last question, you know, just in terms of the whole day, anything uh, really tough in terms of questions? We played the soundbite uh, from in terms of uh, relationships with raising a child with uh, special needs, and in your case, you have, you're some with autism. But w give us another question that was either really funny, really challenging, or just really good. <laughs> well, top question from yes, today. Top question. Uh, you know what? We want something I besides the pineapple pizza question. Uh, you know, I, I was uh, like asked about which celebrities I'd want to endorse me if I could have my druthers, and I chose Oprah and The Rock uh, because they are two of the most admired people in American life. Um, so that was fun. Um, answered some questions about healthcare. Got out our vision for Medicare for all. Um, because we need to get health care off the backs of families and businesses. Um, and I've run a business myself, and I know our current system is essentially the worst of all possible worlds. Uh, so it's been a mixture of both fun topics and very serious topics uh, throughout the day. All right, we tried to keep it pumpkin spicy. Um, we, did the best, we, we did the best we could. Uh, we'll hopefully see you and campaign manager Zach up in New Hampshire next week. And uh, you're going to be doing this all the way yes. through 8 o'clock. So uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate the heck out of you. See you next week. Uh, love you, Boston. Love you, New Hampshire. You know how it is running for president. Yeah, he's having a blast. Andrew thank Yang. You. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And before we go, I want to give a huge thank you to all of our God tier patrons over on Patreon. We have to start thinking much, much bigger about what we can get done. Where's the money? Where's the money? We have the money. Where's the money? Where's the money? We have the money.